now let's see about uh, static constructor in c sharp static constructor is mainly useful in order to access static variables so by using static constructor it is not possible to access non static variables static constructor will be called implicitly automatically before an object of the class is created that means whenever a class is loaded into the memory then automatically the corresponding static constructor will be called static constructor will be called only once it won't call more than once so there is no need to call static constructor explicitly it should be called implicitly before object of the class is created okay uh, now let's see this example uh, here we have two classes the first class is test whereas the second class is program okay uh, in test class we have uh, an instance variable called i next we have a static variable called s yes, okay uh, next static test this is nothing but static constructor if you want to define a static constructor then here uh, we have to use as the modifier static so static space constructor means the name of the constructor should be same as the class name so test so what is the use of static constructor for accessing st static variables okay so here the static variable is s yes. let the initial value of the s is 100 okay next this is nothing but normal constructor default constructor okay uh, so in default constructor what we are doing we are incrementing i value s yes value that means uh, in default constructor or parameter constructor or copy constructor can you access static variables as well as instance variables also but static constructor can access only static variable static constructor cannot access normal variable it can access only static variables whereas other constructors can access static variables as well as instance variables also okay i plus plus s plus plus next we are displaying i value as well as s value i is equal to uh, next plus i plus the next class and s is equal to plus s okay uh, we know that execution of a program starts from the main method Uh, so let here name of the class is program so static void me test to obj1 is equal to new test but here what will happen our program contains static constructor so that constructor will be called before an object of the class is created so first this constructor will be called okay so what is the value of s so the value of s is 100 for all the objects static variable means all the objects of the class can use s the same variable okay a static for static variable the memory will be allocated once and all the objects of the class should use as that variable only okay next test obj1 is equal to new test okay so this is nothing but constructor okay so whenever an object is created then what will happen automatically the corresponding constructor will be called so this is the constructor here so what is the name of the object obj1 is the object we know that whenever an object is created then memory will be allocated for the corresponding variables here we have only one instance variable only one member variable that is i so for i the memory will be allocated okay for i the memory will be allocated uh, initially uh, we didn't perform any initialization uh, let the initial value of i is 0 okay so whenever constructor is called then automatic whenever an object is created then automatically the corresponding constructor will be called i plus plus so previously let us assume that initially we have zero in i so i plus plus means what will happen i value will become one okay next is s plus plus yes the initial value of s is 100 so now s will become one or one okay next to console dot i line i is equal to so what is i value i is equal to one and s is equal to what is s value one or one will be printed okay so once this constructor definition was executed then the control goes to the main method so what is the next statement one more object is created so whenever an object is created then memory will be allocated for the corresponding member variables so here what is the object name obj2 is the object name next i is the variable member variable let initially i has a value called zero so here we have a constructor so whenever an object is created then the corresponding constructor will be called so control goes to the constructor i plus plus so what is the value of i now now we are accessing the values which are in object 2 so object 2 contains this i value okay so this i value won't changes 
Why? Because this I is belonging to object 1. Whereas now we are performing operations on object 2. So what will happen? I plus plus. So I will become 1. Next to S plus plus. So S becomes, but S is a static variable. All the objects of the class can make use of only one static variable. Whereas each object of a class is having its own instance variables. Okay. So S will become 1 or 2. Because S plus plus means previously we have 1 or 1. So 1 or 1 plus 1 means 1 or 2. Okay. Next to display. So what is I value? I is equal to 1. S is equal to what is S value? 1 or 2 will be printed. Okay. So next, uh, this method execution, this constructor execution was over. So control goes to the main method. So there are no other statements in the main method. So what is the output here? I is equal to 1. S is equal to 1 or 1. Next, I is equal to 1, S is equal to 1 or 2. So, this is about uh, static constructors in C sharp.